Well, our top story this half hour, wildfires in the West. At least 10 major fires are burning from Southern California to Alaska. This week, those fires blacken more than 45,000 acres. John Blackstone takes a look. In the rash of fires burning across the West, one of the biggest is in the San Bernardino Mountains, east of Los Angeles. Helicopters are attacking the 11,000 acre fire from above as hundreds of firefighters battle it on the ground. About 400 campers and residents were ordered to evacuate the heavily wooded area. Further north in California, wildfire in the Sierra National Forest south of Yosemite National Park has grown to over 500 acres. For now, the fire threatens few buildings, but it destroyed Roy McCain's home after he evacuated. It's a loss. Everything I got's gone. With conditions so dry after four years of drought, work to prevent wildfires is particularly urgent this year. North of San Francisco, work crews have been busy where forest grows to the edge of densely populated towns. Carl Sanders is watershed manager. Our primary concern today is with the fuels that we see off here to our left in the forest canopy. So dead trees, dying trees. And uh, overgrown, overgrown brush, overgrown trees that uh, add to what we call the fuel load. In much of the West, that fuel load is drier than ever. Shauna Lagarza heads the U.S. Forest Service Fire and Aviation Management Team in California. It's been a long time accumulation of forest fuels on the landscape. We do have the drought and the 12 million acres of dead trees right now, and then we have more public and more people living in California than we've ever had. Even in Alaska, fire season has started with a vengeance. The 7,000 acre sockeye fire burned right across the park's highway between Anchorage and Fairbanks. In Arizona, a record heat wave has made conditions even worse for those fighting a fire southeast of Phoenix. Jason Collins almost lost his home. I had a group of my friends show up, my family show up, and we just grabbed every hose we could and every bucket we could and every shovel we could and did everything we can to keep the fire at bay. In preparation for a worst case fire season, California has added two additional large air tankers to its fleet. The state has also hired 300 extra firefighters. For CBS This Morning Saturday, John Blackstone, San Francisco.